Hello and welcome to the Pi Game RPG series here on the Coders Legacy channel. So in this video, we're basically going to introduce you to the game concept as well as write the base code. So let me actually begin with the explanation. We're going to make a simple RPG, a simple RPG fighter with where you control a character and you can do stuff like fight enemies, you can cast magic spells, you can pick up items and maybe we'll add in stuff like money, inventory systems, different dungeons, different floors and all kinds of interesting things like scrolling mechanics and there's a lot of different potential there are a lot of different things that we can actually add so depending on how how interested people are in this we can actually proceed and add more and more new things all right so as we proceed with the series make sure you leave some feedback in the comments section below okay and one more thing there'll be a lot of things in this in this series all right a lot of new concepts and i'll try my best to explain them but if there's something that uh, maybe I didn't explain enough. I'll leave a link in the description below because there are a lot of other tutorials that I have for you know each individual concept. And furthermore, one more thing that this video, this video series is actually uh, it's actually adapted from our website, the our website where we actually made this ent entire tutorial on text. Okay. Uh, now this is basically the video version. And this is a bit better than the text version, okay? Because over there we were restricted to just making, uh, explaining things through text. So we had to limit the scope a, a bit. Over here we don't have that restriction, so we're gonna go all out here, hopefully, and make something even better. But if you're interested, you can go check out the web version. I'll include the link in the description below, okay? So here's our Pygame folder where we'll be making all of our code, okay, all our files. I have the images folder here with some basic images. And here we'll begin creating some basic scripts. The first one is game.py. That's our main game file. And here I'm going to make some more files, some more Python files. Okay, one for player, one for enemy, like that. We're following the object-oriented approach here, which says that each class should have one file. Okay, that's the recommended approach. So that's what we're doing here. These are all important entities that we're going to be having inside of our game file. Okay, and in game, basically, we're going to be making the majority of our code, okay? This is where we'll be importing all of the other classes that we make. So the first statement is import pygame, obviously. Second is another useful import, pygame.locals. From there, import all, okay? Here we'll begin pygame, okay? I'll be a little brief with all of these, these explanations until we get to the main game part, okay? Because this is all basic code that I hope you already know. I'll include links in, in the description below for those who are new, okay? Pygame.init to begin Pygame, okay? I'll begin creating some basic variables here. Width is equal to 8, height is equal to 400, FPS is equal to 60, okay? And here I'll set up a clock for our loop later on. Pygame.time.clock. Okay. Here I'll begin creating the game loop. Okay. The game loop is basically in a very short description is a loop that runs infinitely. Okay. Here we'll be including all of our code. Okay. The reason for the infinite running time is because games run infinitely until you close them. Right. So that's basically the logic over here. And actually I just made a mistake here. I just remembered that we didn't actually create our Pi game display. So I'll go display is equal to Pi game dot display dot set mode width and height okay basically this takes a tuple with the width and the height and will create the display uh, of that size and the display is basically what will be our tagging window okay we'll be drawing all of our sprites all of this to our display okay and one more thing pygame dot display set set caption Pygame RPG. Okay, that's the name that'll appear on the Pygame window. Okay, so let's begin our main code. Over here, we'll set up an event loop first. For event in pygame.event.get, event.get basically returns a list of all currently occurring events in Pygame. And then we can begin handling these events. Like if event.type is equal to quit, then sys.exit and pygame.quit. Okay, this is just a very good way of exiting pygame, okay? It makes sure everything is closed properly, so just follow that. And we'll set up some other ones as well that we're not using right now, but uh, it'll just it's just good to you know, have them there. Mouse button down, 
and keydown. The first one is for mouses, and the, you know, mouse events, and the second one is for the keyboard. So we'll just leave these empty for now, and we'll proceed for now. Okay. So one thing over here, iGame.Display.Update. This is basically something that you need to call. Okay. This basically every iteration. Okay. Every time this loop iterates over all the, all the code in here, this is basically going to update the entire uh, window. And until you call this function, any changes that you make to the window, like if you draw a sprite to it, okay, it won't show until you call this function. Okay, so just keep that in mind. And one more thing that we need to do is actually say clock .tick fps. This basically limits the while loop from running infinitely, like uh, infinitely times a second, I mean, like it stops it from running maybe 10,000 times a second or maybe a thousand times a second and gives it a fixed speed. Okay, we call these frames. And that's what I set up here. FPS is equal to 60. So I basically restricted our Pi game game to 60 FPS. Okay, 60 times a second. That's how many times this while loop will be executing. Okay. So now that we have this much set up, let's run our code and see what happens. Okay, good. Here's our Pi game window. Okay, we see Pi game Pi game RPG written up there, and we have a roughly 400 by 800 window over here. It's completely blank, of course, but that's because we haven't actually drawn anything to it. Okay, it's giving me an error for sys. Hmm. It makes sense because I didn't actually import the sys library, which I'm doing right now. Okay, and you don't need to let, you don't need to download that separately. By the way, it's included in the standard Python library. Next, let's set up the background. I'm gonna say background is equal to um, pygame dot image dot load background dot png, and this is in the images file that I created earlier. So I guess the actual format is images. Okay. There we go. And I'll come down here and say display dot blit background. And I'll give it some coordinates. Okay, what the blit function basically does is that it draws it draws the whatever you pass into it. Okay, in our case we're passing in the background image. And it draws them to a set of certain coordinates. And over here, we're telling it to draw it to the 0, 0 coordinates. And basically, what that means is that begin drawing it from the 0, 0 coordinates, because we want it to basically be drawn from there. So basically, the 0, 0 coordinates, okay, are they basically going to be the top left, the top left of our image. And the top right is going to be, sorry, the bottom right is going to be the width and the height, okay. I hope that made sense because Pygame's coordinate system is a bit like that. Okay, here's our image. And you see over here that there's some uh, black area over there that's supposed to be there because uh, we'll be including the ground over there. That area is kind of blank for now. So, but our background looks pretty nice. So let's actually proceed. And one side thing here. First, call pygame.quit and then call sys.exit. Okay, that was a slight mistake that we were doing, which is why it wasn't closing properly. Okay, now it's working. Great. Now we'll be working on our ground file. Okay, so let's just import it here first. I know it's empty. We'll work on that in a minute. Let's just keep the class imports a bit separate over here. Okay, I'll say import ground. Or I'm actually going to do from ground import all. Great. Now let's go back to ground. It's the ground. Let's open up the ground file now and begin writing that you know the code over there. Okay. First thing to do is actually import Pygame again. And actually, yeah, this much is this much is enough. So here we begin creating the class. And over here we import from pygame.sprite. Okay. Because basically we want this to be a sprite that we can actually use. So let's work on the init function now. Okay, this has the compulsory parameter self, and we'll create some more like width, height, x, and y, and as well as one more called name. Now width and height are there for the size. X and y are there for the starting position to which we'll draw them. Name is there for the name of the file that we'll load into it as an image. Okay, for example, self dot image is equal to pygame dot image dot load, and name. This, you know, this keeps things flexible. One thing I want to do here is create a vec object. Okay, it's pygame.math.vector2. 
Now this is really handy, let me show you why. Self.size, this is not compulsory by the way, it's just, it's just useful. So I'll do this. There you go. I have uh, something set up over there and I can access both the width and the height. So basically it's like putting both of them into one, okay? Uh, for example, I can do self.size.x to access the width and y to access the height, okay? So that's really useful. And I'll make one more called self.pause, okay? Which basically stores the x and the y position. Okay, so let's make another function called render, okay? It takes the compulsory parameter itself. And over here I'm gonna say, actually sorry, one more, it takes one more. We'll call this display, okay? Basically what we're gonna do is pass in the display to this function. I'll show you later. So I'm gonna say display dot blit self dot image and I'll write it here self dot size. So basically what's gonna happen here is that I call this function, I pass in the display that we made earlier and it'll basically draw itself to the display. So let's try this out. So we imported our ground file. Let's create a ground object. Okay. And what are our parameters again? Width and height. So let's say the width should be 900. Height should be 100 or 120. Roughly going based on what I remember from last time. And starting position. Starting position for the X should be about zero or about minus 20. Okay, I want, to, I want it to start from a bit from uh, outside of the screen. And the starting position for the Y should be about uh, 300. Okay, let's try this out and see what happens. Uh, I'll just go down here and say ground dot render and I'll pass in display to it. And hopefully this should work. I don't think I've actually tried this out before. Okay, so I've actually just realized it, but we actually have made a few silly mistakes over here. One over here, we need to write pygame.sprite.sprite. Secondly, make sure you save it. Okay, if you see that little asterisk that you see over here in the top left corner, then that means you haven't saved it. Okay, I'll save it right now and it'll disappear. Okay, second of all, we made another mistake over here. It's not self.size, okay? This is the position that we want to draw it to. And that's pause, okay? That's supposed to be pause. Let's go back over here. And, um, okay, what else? Yes, there's one more mistake. I didn't include the name, okay? The name parameter. So what is it? Images slash, let's take a look at the image folder. It's ground.png. So let's write that ground.png for our ground file. Now let's run this code and see what happens. Okay, good. Look at that. Now I think just one slight adjustment. Let's go back here and adjust it a bit so that it starts a bit lower. Okay, good. I think that looks good. This We can work with this. So with this, I believe we can actually begin our Pygame RPG properly. In the next video, we'll be taking a look at making our player. We'll add in movement, jumping, and yeah. So next video is all about our player. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of this content, okay? Because there'll be a lot of videos coming out. And depending on your interest, okay, which I can gauge based on your likes and comments in, in the comment section below, we'll actually continue the series. Like... Uh, Maybe we can end this early, or maybe we can drag this out a lot longer, adding in a lot of you know, new content, more cooler stuff, new levels and new spells, new skills. We can add all of that if you guys are actually interested in seeing the series continue. So let me know what you think in the comment section below, and make sure to subscribe. So yeah, see you in a future video.